Hello everyone, this is Tim, and I'm going to try to do days 7, 8, and 9 today real quick, because things have been kind of crazy, and trying to just do a bunch of stuff and get all these in, and I've been trying to watch a lot of these too, and it, uh, it's been taking a lot of time. Um, I think every year this gets a little bit, bit, bit bigger, and more people respond. Uh, I've even been reading more of the blog posts and things, Google Plus posts, with the hashtag, so uh, this year has been a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's a challenge to keep up with everything. Uh, and I think there's been a lot of good conversations and uh, back and forth in the comments so far, so that's awesome. So without further ado, question seven, what was your most impactful RPG session? And this is a toss-up for me. I ran some games with my Shadow Children setting, which really was inspired by the game uh, Little Little Fears. Uh, this is the Nightmare Edition. I've, I've heard that the first edition is even creepier. But you play like child protagonists against you know monsters that you know come out of portals underneath your bed or out of your closet. There's like other realities you can go to, so it's kind of like kids monster hunting. And another game too was Grim, which is a D20 supplement that was put out you know with a uh, brand like uh, like folk kind of stuff like monsters, folk tales, uh, you know scary monsters for kids, you know that that sort of thing. Um, so those two games inspired my setting of, of Shadow Children, which is about kids that have been mistreated and abused, and I, I don't know if it's because of that or what, but for whatever reason, these kids that, you know, had all these tragic things happen to them start to see doorways to other realities, and they can travel there, and, you know, monsters and strange visions, you know, happen throughout their day or, you know, when they're, they're sleeping, they have nightmares, so uh, that's really, you know... That's my way of trying to get out some of my own, you know, like personal gamings about my childhood and stuff. I think, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's kind of purging. I think to 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 deal with that difficult subject matter. Uh, and I've only run it for one shots. So I don't think I could do a campaign. Uh, kind of like how uh, Jonas mentioned that in uh, a recent video about Wraith. You know, it's it's too much. He can't really handle it. And I think that would probably be the case for me with really any game dealing with that sort of tough subject matter that can kind of, you know, overlap with things in the real world, so. But look down below, I've got, uh, I ran Shadow Children for Brigade Con, and uh, I remember Micah especially being a very good player in that game. Um, you know, lots of, lots of good, intense moments. Uh, I played with SR2 Joker and Fantastic Dimensions as well, and I'll put that down there too. And uh, those guys just, you know, they, they went nuts in that game, and I think it just showed how you know things that happen to you can thereby <laughs> cause you to do things that you know you kind of wonder why like why would those kids do those awful things they like burned a house down at the end of it you know they became arsonists um but you know it's just it's just it, it's just thought provoking for me like what does abuse like what are the effects of abuse on a person and how does that come out in their behavior uh so interesting and tough subject um, also, I ran a Wraith the Oblivion game. This is the only time I've ever ran Wraith. So, uh, Andre Martinez sent me a bunch of these a while back. Uh, this is Charnel Houses of Europe. Uh, you know, dealing with the Holocaust. Very difficult subject matter. And I ran a one-shot of that. And I remember when I would, I'd have like flashback scenes. And those were the most intense for me. And I remember I would close my eyes... And there were times when I was shaking, like I couldn't control the way my body was reacting to how intense, you know, like the train car scenes were when they were pulling up um, to be offloaded and just how cold they were. And uh, I give this book a lot of credit. You know, it might it might get some flack because of the subject matter that it deals with. But this book itself here taught me more about the Holocaust than all the years I had in public school. So I give this book, you know, Charnel House of Europe, which is a, a black dog Game Factory product for White Wolf, a lot of credit. There are a lot of disturbing and true details in here. Um, and some of the introductory, you know, introductions to that book, I think say like, well, why would you want to tackle something like this in a game that you're supposed to be having fun? And I think it's another way for that story to be told. It's a way for, you know, those atrocities, you know, people to learn about them, to realize how horrible all that, you know, systemized genocide was. So very, very powerful session. Um, the players thanked me, and a couple people came up and would would watch for a short time, and then have to leave because of how difficult you know, the matter was. We we're talking about the descriptions of things. I tried to make, 
you know, I try to be respectful and yet, you know, not hold back the, the details that I learned about in that book. You know, some of the things that, uh, you know, the survivors of that had to do to survive things that were, you know, you know, tough. So those, those games and Wraith and for the, for the ninth day, like I said, I'm doing seven, eight, nine, going to go with an alternate question. What do you want out of an RPG experience? And talking about those last ones, I think I just want to feel something. I want to have some sort of uh, response that maybe I'm not even completely in control of. Um, I want it to, to leave a mark. And that can be, I guess, a good and a bad thing, I think. But I, I want to feel something. I want to be invested. I want to be excited. I want to, to wonder what's going to happen next. And I want to look forward to the next session. You know, if you're running something and I'm excited about it, I'm, yeah, I can't wait to go to the next session. Yeah, I want to go to the next session. Yeah. But maybe not that intense, you know. <laughs> I just, I want to be excited and, and have fun and look forward to it. And then when I'm there, I want to be enjoying myself and uh, just in the moment, uh, you know. I, I hope that the reality can roll back and I can just, you know, forget about all these, all the noise in my head for a little bit and just enjoy the experience. So, so yeah, that's my answers and I will talk to you all soon.